Wow, I am just so amazed and so honored to be in the company of such great work. And also, I have to tell you, not knowing what to expect, I've had the warmest, most inclusive welcome being here for the first time, and I'm definitely coming back. So thank you. Thank you, thank you. I also want to let you know I just left my job at Taco Bell about three weeks ago, and um, I'm happy to have my new role. Uh, no, it's funny, though. I, in preparing my talk tonight, I thought of my dad. You always think of your parents and, uh, at big occasions, right? And I remember the day I told him I wasn't going to be a lawyer. Again, I must be the one who didn't know anything. But in my family, I was the smart one, so it was the only hope. And um, his comment back to me was, but I thought you wanted to make a difference in the world. And I said, I do, Dad. I want to be in advertising. And ironically, and I'm dating myself now, I'm sorry, that Coca-Cola spot I'd like to teach the world to sing, which is actually I'd like to share a world of Coke, I owned it as a 45. And when I saw that commercial, I said, that's what I want to do. That, and I don't know if you remember, because I'm dating myself again, the Native American crying over the garbage in the river. I don't know if you remember that spot, an ad council spot. And here's why. And I think this is why we're here. Advertising is part of culture. Advertising is about tapping into social consciousness, sometimes in advance of where the culture itself is, is yet. We are out ahead of the game. So we can actually help change the world. And similarly to Coca-Cola at Microsoft, we have a saying, and that is make a difference. Make a difference in everything that you do. We have a billion customers. I'm guessing we might have a few Muslims. I'm thinking that we might, right? It might be good if not everybody in our ads were blonde haired blue-eyed people. So we've really made an effort, and I'm super proud at the reception of that advertisement that we did in a very trying time post the election. We actually shot that the third week in November in New York City, and people literally were coming up to us, patting us on the back, cheering. We had audiences. It was almost like a live shoot. But the real hero, I'm sorry to say, isn't here tonight. Um, Mona is actually, Mona, sorry, I have a best friend, Mona, and she spells it the same way. Um, Mona is, is actually performing at the Apollo Theater tonight. Uh, she was our hero of our spot. And honestly, she was the social center of the spot. She had the entire cast and crew over to her house for brunch after the shoot. So she was very, very warm and welcoming and a fabulous person to work with. But the goal really was to show we're all about real people. We didn't, we didn't have to make up stories. These stories are out there. And if there are things wrong with the world, people, individuals can make a difference. And that's really what we wanted to shine a light on. Don't politicize it. Don't complain about it. Don't get on social media and be mean. Do something. And these people did something, and it made a difference. And we wanted to show that to the world, maybe to set an example. So we're super proud to have done that. I also want to shout out to Mel, our producers in the audience. Mel, please wave, who is a hero in our book. Um, she was. She was very, very phenomenal. I think in my mind, growing up as a child of the 60s in the Bronx, one of the things I learned quickly was intolerance is born of ignorance. It's easy to hate something you don't understand. And the more exposure you get, the more you can learn to love. And I think that will remain our goal going forward. I'm committed to that in our future advertisements. And I don't know if you know, those of you who watch uh, Mad Men might know what this award was. Microsoft was honored with Advertiser of the Year this year, which is a phenomenal accomplishment. I'm more proud and more moved by this award than I am by that. So I thank you. Thank you.